Hey everyone, myself Shabtu Porni from Biolife. Hope all of you are doing very well. Today I am going to teach you about a very important topic of biostatistics. How to set regression function in your scientific calculator like FX 991MS and FX 82MS. Okay. So before beginning this video, I would like to tell you that FX 90, 991MS is a modified or better version of FX 92MS. Uh, all the functions I will discuss here are similar in both the calculator except one, except the first function where we have we need to set the regression function. Except that everything is similar, so I will discuss everything related to FX 991MS and I will show the difference between these two, okay, in terms of regression function. How to set that? So, first of all, to do the regression equation in your scientific calculator, you need to set the regression function in your calculator. After that, you need to put your data. Okay. As we know, in our regression table, in simple linear regression, there are two kinds of variables, independent variable and dependent variable. We put independent variable on x-axis and dependent variable on y-axis. See here, there is, there is a table uh, where you can find wing length and fecundity. Fecundity means the number of eggs produced. Okay. So, obviously, if wing length will increase or decrease, the fecundity will also increase or decrease. So, obviously, you can easily say that fecundity is dependent on wing length. So, obviously, wing length is the independent variable, whereas fecundity is the dependent variable. So, as wing length is the independent variable, we will put the values on x-axis. So, we will consider all these values as x and uh, as fecundity is the dependent variable, we will consider all the values of fecundity as y. Okay. And according to that, we will put everything in our calculator. After putting your data table in your calculator, you need to find out some uh, formula, some uh, some values, okay, like summation of x, summation of y, summation of x square, summation of y square, summation of xy, then x bar and y bar and at last the a, b and r value, okay. So, what are these A, B and R value? These are like A is the, you, if you see that, this is the uh, linear regression line, okay. Uh, so, here um, the equation is Y equal to A plus BX. This is the equation of a straight line. Y equal to MX plus C, like that, okay. So, where A is the intercept, where the line intersects the Y axis. Whereas B is the slope of this straight line. Okay. So, obviously A is the intercept whereas B is the slope. And what is R? R is the Pearson's product moment coefficient of correlation. Okay. R is the coefficient of correlation. And the value of R is always between minus 1 to plus 1. Remember that. Okay. So, we need to find out all these things for doing regression in your calculator. And after that, we need some formulas according to which we can find the, our required, uh, required things from uh, regression. Okay. So, Let's begin with FX 991MS calculator. Okay, FX 991MX calculator. So, see, let's on it. See here, here already regression function is set. But as I want to um, teach you how to set this regression function, I will uh, clear all these things. Okay, any function present here, I will clear that. And uh, if you start fresh, obviously clear everything in your calculator before starting regression so how to clear everything from your calculator before starting regression first of all uh, press shift then this mode or clear button see they will show you all okay means clear everything or clear all so press 3 they are showing reset all so press equal to they will reset everything, resetting all. Okay, and now press o AC. So, everything is reset. See here, now there is no regression function here. Okay, so everything has been cleared now. Now, I need to set the regression function in this calculator. So, for setting the regression function, you need to click this mode button twice. Once and twice. 
so now you can find the regression function here as 2 okay so press 2 let's press 2 now they will show you three things linear log or exponential we are trying to do linear simple linear regression so we need to press 1 okay so press 1 see here the regression function is now set in your calculator okay so in fx 991 ms and fx 82 ms there is only single difference what is that see here i have already uh, uh, I have already said the regression here just clear everything and I will show the difference here so obviously for clearing uh, shift then mode or clear button and for clearing all press 3 reset all ok so press equal to resetting everything AC so see here in this calculator for setting regression you need to press the mode button only once ok and uh, in 991 ms we have to set it for twice click it for twice so here you will find three okay telling you to set the regression so press three then for linear regression press one and see now regression is set here again okay so this is the only difference between setting regression in these two calculator so now let's go to the second part how to put your data the independent variables or x values and dependent variables or y values okay how to register your data in your calculator so for that see we need to uh, do we need to put your data like this one first of all let's take the first data 2.1 and 82 2.1 is your x value and 82 is is your y value okay so for putting data you need to put like this x comma y then m plus okay and then it will show n equal to 1 that means first variable has been put okay then put the next variable like x2 comma y2 m plus then they will show n equal to 2 like this okay so our first variable is 2.1 and 82 2.1 and 82 so let's put it here let me just focus it 2.1 then what comma then press 82 then press m plus so they are showing n equal to 1 ok so similarly put the second value the second value is 3 and 101 so put the second value 3 comma 101 and m plus they are showing n equal to now 2 ok now put the third value 3.2 and 119 put the third value 3.2 comma 119 and m plus so they are showing n equal to 3 now the fourth value is 3.5 and 130 so put the fourth value 3.5 comma 130 130 m plus n equal to 4 next put the fifth variable 2.2 comma 84 ok 2.2 2.2 comma 84 m plus fifth value is set now the last one 2.5 comma 92 2.5 comma 92 okay and m plus so see here all the six variables are now set here okay so now after registering all your data table values you need to find out these things summation of x summation of x square summation of y summation of y square and summation of x y for doing this you need to use the function s sum which is present on the button one okay so how to do that let's see see now everything is registered all the values are registered in your calculator so for doing that now shift press the shift button okay when we will uh, you will uh, click the shift button you will find a letter s here and then 
select S sum. S sum means present sense. S sum is written on the one. Okay, so press one or S sum. Now, when you will press S sum, you will find summation of x square, summation of x, and n. As we already know the n, okay, n equal to six. How many variables are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't need to find out n here. We just need to find out x square, summation of x square, and summation of x. That means our these two values. So for finding out summation of x square, press one and equal to. See, they are showing you the value forty six point nine nine. Let's Uh, write it here forty six point nine nine. Now find out the value of x. Just press on, and then do the same thing. Shift s sum or one. Then for summation of x, press two. Equal to six. Okay. Now it is equal to six. Now, for finding out summation of y and summation of y square, place shift. Then same thing one. And see here they are showing x square and summation of x. Now for uh, knowing the summation of y square and summation of y, press replay button. This one, this button. Okay, the rightmost button. And they will show you for y square summation of y square. Press some uh, one. And for summation of y. Press two. See for summation of y square. Press one, and now they will show the value six three five zero six. Write it down here six three five zero six. Okay, and now for summation of y, again press on, press shift, press a sum, press this button, and for summation of y, press two. Okay, and equal to button. So the summation of y is six zero eight. So write it down here six zero eight. Now you need to find out summation of x y. So for that press Z on, then shift s sum or one, then press this button. Now for summation of x y press three, press three and equal to. They will show you one seven two five point eight. Okay. So this value is one seven two five point eight. Okay. So just write it down. Now you need to find out some uh, the x bar and y bar value. Okay. These are the mean values. So for finding out x bar and y bar value values, we need to uh, click on S bar, which is present on second button. So see here, just click on. Z on button and now for finding out x bar and y bar press shift then s var see here they are they have written s var v a r on two so press two when you will press two you will find x bar okay for finding out x bar press one so press one. And press obviously press equal to. They will show you the value of x bar two point seven five. So write it down here two point seven five. Now for finding out y bar, you need to do the same thing. Press shift, then press two. Then for finding out y bar, press this button. See here y bar for finding out y bar. Press one. And equal to, and they will show you the value hundred and one point three three, hundred and one point three three. Okay, so now you have find out these values. Now you need to find out the a, b, and r values. Okay, so for finding out a, b, and r values, we need to do the same thing. Uh, we need to press the shift and s var values. Okay, shift and s var. So for that. What you need to do? You need to press the on button, then press the shift button. S var means button number two. Then press this button twice, once, twice, and now you will find A, B, and R values by uh, pressing one, two, and three. Press one. They they will show the value of A. Press equal to the value of A is nine point seven two three. So write it down here, nine point seven two three. Okay. Now for 
finding out B again press shift then S var that means 2 then press this button twice and for finding out B press 2 then equal to so they will show you the value of B 33.3 so write it down here 33.3 okay and now for finding out the N values sorry R value press shift then button 2 then press this one twice and for R press 3 so press 3 and equal to so they will show you the R value 0 0.97 okay 0 0.0.972 0 .972. so 0 0.972 is your R value which is in between minus 1 to plus 1 okay so these are our values okay so uh, finding out these values you can easily say what will be your uh, equation the equation of linear regression will be y equal to what is your a 9.723 plus what is your b 33.3 into r sorry x okay this is your linear regression equation just put the a and b values okay here and what is your R or coefficient of correlation, Pearson's product moment coefficient of correlation, this is 0 0.972. Okay, so we have found out what are our required things from this calculation. Okay, so I hope this will be very useful for you for your examination. Okay, so um, if you find it useful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And if you find it useful, don't um, forget to subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell button given below. Thanks for watching and happy learning.